Alrighty, guys, and today I'm just gonna explain that I think PC specs are just getting, or in other words, system requirements are just getting too advanced too soon. So as you can see, I have my specs here. And in case you're wondering, the reason why I have CMD open is because I'm covering my product key. Because I don't want any of you to steal it. So basically, I have Intel Core i5-4570 3.20 gigahertz. 8 gigabytes of RAM. 64-bit operating system. Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1. Now I'm just going to close this. And now I'm just going to show you the GPU that I have. The GPU that I have. The GPU that I have. I have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. GeForce GTX 660. As you can see here. As you can see here. And now I'm going to show you system requirements. And now I'm going to show you system requirements. For Black Ops 3 which came out. For Black Ops 3 which came out. On my birthday last year, on my birthday last year, which is 2015, which is 2015, which is 2015. So I'm gonna put my specs on here. So I'm gonna put my specs on here. I'm gonna show you recommended requirements. I'm gonna show you recommended requirements. Wait, I, I'm just gonna go to any. I'm just gonna go to any. I'm just gonna go to any. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. It says that it works and it says that it works and Black Ops 3 will actually run on this thing well. As you can see on my past Black Ops 3 videos, I've been doing it on this desktop. And you could watch those videos to see how it runs. I just did one today, Reese. Not exactly recently, but a few hours ago. I'm also going to explain another game. Though. Called Dirty Bomb, which came out like around 2014-2015, because Windows XP games apparently are still being made. And the recommended requirements have it at Windows 7 64-bit. I'm gonna go recommended requirements. I'm gonna go recommended requirements.
And look, I'm very high up. And look, I'm very high up. Apparently, Dirty Bomb wasn't really a high end game. If this was released around 2007, then it would be high end. But now I'm going to show you the Doom 4 system requirements. And this is why I think PC, PC system requirements are getting too advanced for its time. Look at what the minimum requirements are. Look at what the minimum requirements are. Core i5 663.3 gigahertz. And if you have AMD FX 8350. And the minimum requirements GPU has that G Force GTX 660. The same exact graphics card I have. And AMD is Radon HD 7870. RAM is at 8 gig. RAM is at 8 gig. And I mean gigabytes. And I mean gigabytes. Windows 7 64 bit. Windows 7 64 bit. DirectX 11. DirectX 11. And 40 gigabytes of HDD space. Of HDD space. I don't find DirectX HDD space and OS to be a problem. OS to be a problem. Now let me put my specs in here. Now let me put my specs in here. Alrighty, so now I'm at medium. Alrighty, so now I'm at medium. My CPU is at a check mark, a green. Check mark, a green. But however, my GPU and my RAM isn't. But anyways, I. I hopefully plan to upgrade this thing with the GTX 970, another RAM stick, an i7 CPU, with like four cores. And more, and if not, then I might get the Xbox One version. But most likely, I'll upgrade this thing only because Doom is best on PC. I mean, I have Doom 3 on Steam, and I've played it a few times. But anyways, I'm going to conclude this here. And I hope you all understand... That the Doom 4 specs are too advanced for 2016. I don't even think the new Call of Duty is going to be this heavy. It probably is, but I'm not sure. It's like they want the most expensive P 
PC specs here. But anyways, I'll see you all soon.